This workflow video will show you how to animate cranes and forklifts in Synchro so that they move along with existing 3D path in your 4D model. In this example, the objects box forklift and box crane have already been assigned 3D path. If you haven't already done so, please check the previous workflow videos about 3D path to learn how to do this. Start by selecting the crane and assigning it to the relevant task in the schedule. Then go to Navigator 3D Path and create a new 3D path for the rotation of the crane. Let's call this Rotate TC. Now go to the task properties and assign this newly created 3D path to the tower crane. Make sure the 3D path is selected, the task is selected and the crane is selected and go to 3D path properties and click on capture keyframe. Now right click, edit, modify 3D path. We will need to set the center of rotation to be the center of the tower crane. To do this, hold down the control button and move the arrows so that the center of rotation is at the stem of the tower crane. And click on capture keyframe to save this. We will also need to copy and paste this keyframe to the second keyframe so that the center remains at the first position. Now we can capture the rotations of the tower crane so that it follows the load that is being lifted. Move the focus time slowly so that the box is just about to start its horizontal movement and click on capture keyframe. Keep moving the focus time slowly so that the box is just about to stop the horizontal movement. Now rotate the tower crane so that it is just above the box. Use the top view so that it's clear and click on capture keyframe. Now we will copy and paste this keyframe to the last one because the box is being lowered and the tower crane is at the same rotation. Now we can move the focus time slowly throughout the task to make sure that the path doesn't need any adjustment. It looks like the path needs a little bit of adjustment, so just move the tower crane and click on capture keyframe. Now we move to the forklift. This part is a little bit easier. As you can see, the box moves independently of the forklift because the forklift has not been assigned to the task or 3D path yet. Choose a temporary appearance profile and assign the forklift to the task. Now from the task properties, make sure that the forklift is assigned to the same 3D path of the box. Now we see that the forklift moves with the box, but it's not at the correct alignment. To change this, make sure the path, the task, and the resource are selected. Right click, edit, modify 3D path. This step can be done at any keyframe, so just select a keyframe from the 3D path editor, hold down the shift button, and move the forklift so that it is at the correct alignment. Click on Capture Keyframe and the alignment will apply to the whole 3D path. To verify, move the focus time slowly throughout the task. The difference between holding down the Shift button or the Control button while editing the alignment of an object to the 3D path is that the Shift button allows you to edit the alignment by moving the object rather than the path itself.